So last time guys, I did share to you the first part of the step-by-step -step tutorial in completing the task on the Venom wallet, which is under the testnet mode. So here is part two. So GM everyone, this is Nomad Fury. So before we begin, kindly acknowledge the disclaimer that I have right here in this video and in the description, just to be fair and transparent to all. But if you haven't watched the part 1 of the Venom testnet tutorial yet, so I highly recommend you to do so before proceeding to part 2. So the link is just right here on the video description. So without further ado, let's get to work. Okay, so I have opened my uh, Venom wallet. So I'm going to the uh, browser and then go to venom.network so by the way this is the second part of our step-by-step -step, uh, tutorial in their testnet task so of course um let's start the testnet and of course um you could see some of my nft achievements and of course what we're gonna prioritize is the venom bridge okay but before that let's add more venom by using their faucet so earlier i've already achieved my uh, daily task but of course um there are some extras as well like log into our discord so i'm going to do that right now and of course you have to wait so we need to log in guys okay okay so um i am logging into my discord so of course i need to authorize this and uh, of course um you could see right here um i need to um click the claim and then I just have to um, sign this. So I submit. And then um, you just have to wait until the 30th test Venom was credited to uh, my balance. Alright. Okay, so it says successfully claimed. Now um, it's time to join the Venom Foundation on Discord. So I'm going to join. Okay, so I'm going to claim. So here it is. I need to sign the data and then I just click submit. And then I'm going to authenticate. And then we just have to wait for another 30 test Venom. Okay, once again, it's successfully claimed. The next one on the list is to join the Venom Bridge Discord. And then we just have to sign data. So we click submit. Okay, so it says successfully claimed. Next, we go to the uh, web 3 world. So I've already joined their Discord and then we just have to um, claim. So I submit and then authenticate and then we just have to wait until um, it says successfully claimed, okay? And you see it? It says successfully claimed. Now it's time for us to join the Oasis that gallery. So I'm going to do that. I've already joined earlier. So I'm going to claim and then uh, we just have to uh, sign and submit and then do this authentication and then we have to wait. Okay, so it says successfully claimed. All right, so the next in line is to join the Wii app. So we just have to click join and then uh, we just have to go to their Discord. So the process is the same as the others, guys. Okay, just to give you an idea. All right then, so um, let's go to um, the Venom Bridge. So all you have to do is to complete the task. And then in order to um, gain this cross-chain bridge NFT, so um, of course I need to follow it. I've already done that. But the next task is to transfer tokens from Venom to EVM chains. So here we go. I've already connected my Venom. And for the EVM wallet guys, of course, um, we need to have a MetaMask, all right? So I'm going to click Connect. And then we open with the MetaMask. And then I have to authenticate. Okay, so we are opening it. And of course, um, just connect to this site. So we need to have a little bit of extra BNB to pay for the gas fee, okay? when you're going to uh, do this task okay so i'm going to bridge from venom testnet to the binance smart chain and the token is t venom so let's say i want to do um one okay here it is 
So I click continue. And of course, uh, double check the details. And of course, uh, we need to approve the transfer first. And of course, here are the details. And then we just click send. But of course, we need to reveal the blockchain fee first. And then, of course, we send. Need some authentication. And then we have to wait um, until it goes to the next phase of bridging from Venom to BSC. So it may take a while, guys. Okay, so we are now on the second phase. Prepare transfer in Venom testnet. So, of course, transfer checked by relayers. So, we need to wait for a while, guys, before we go to the third phase. Okay, um, you can see the progress. So, once it's three out of three, of course, um, it's time to release transfer in Binance Smart Chain. So, um, take note of this. Release the transfer. Then, we open with MetaMask. Okay, so uh, you can see that. And, of course, the estimated gas fee. You need to pay in BNB, so I click confirm. And then we just have to wait. Okay, so the transaction is successful. Um, you could see the details right here, guys. All right. Okay, so let's go back to the task. And then we just have to click check to verify. Okay, so um, it's time to do the opposite from Binance Smart Chain back to the Venom testnet. So um, you could see right here, I am going to do the max. Of mighty venom so from bsc back to the venom test net so first things first we need to approve the transfer of course acknowledge this one and then we open our metamask here we go so we are opening um you can see right here guys um the estimated gas fee okay so um once you agree on this you just have to click confirm and then it goes back right here on the venom bridge Okay, um, you can see um, the confirmation is now updated. So it needs for us to have uh, 30 confirmations before we proceed to the next phase of bridging from Binance Smart Chain back to the Venom testnet. Okay, so we are almost there, guys. Okay, so once it's confirmation, 30 out of 30. So it's time to prepare transfer in the Venom testnet. So all you have to do is to click the approved transfer. So acknowledging everything right here. And then click send. Of course, we need to undo this authentication. And once again, we have to wait patiently before we head over to the next phase. In which it's what we call transfer checked by relayers. Okay, so it's on checking mode. So once it's three out of three, it will go right here. So the transaction is a success from BSC to the Venom testnet. Okay, so um, since I've already completed them, so what I'm going to do is that I will be minting the NFT. So I am going to do it right now. And then I just click send. Finally! I have my cross-chain bridge uh, NFT. It was now completed. That's how we do the Venom bridge, guys. Okay. All right, guys. So um, you could see that I already have uh, seven NFTs that I've achieved. So we have a brand new task right here. And it's what we call the Sniper. So it's a DeFi portfolio tracker designed for users to manage your assets. So all you have to do is to complete the task and to uh, gain this. So we can unlock it, you know, after completing all the tasks. But first, uh, we have to follow Sniper Finance on Twitter. And then we just have to click follow. So we go back. And once we have done that, let's proceed to the next task in which we have to check it. Okay, now it's done. Task completed. Now let's move on. Check your portfolio on Sniper Finance. So all you have to do is to visit venom.sniper.finance. And here we go. So uh, we need to uh, connect our uh, Venom wallet with this one. Okay. So I'm going to select my Venom wallet. And we just have to allow this. And uh, you could see that my wallet is connected as well as my uh, balance. And of course, um, the other stuff right here on the Venom testnet. In which I have in my wallet and in the Web3 world. Okay, now we go back right here. So all you have to do is to check it first to verify. 
So uh, you could see right here, guys, that I've already um, finished the task, you know, um, by just uh, verifying it. And now it's time for us to mint our NFT. Of course, we send a message, just click send. And then we have to wait until the uh, NFT was successfully minted. So um, you can see right here, guys, um, Sniper Finance also has some uh, tasks right here on Zealy. So um, if you want to be part of it, so I'm providing the uh, link right here on my uh, video description. So I would really appreciate if you're going to use it. Okay. So, yep, I'm just uh, showing you around, you know, about the various tasks that you can um, perform right here on uh, the Sniper Finance here on Zealy. Wow, um, you could see that there are so many tasks that uh, you can do. And of course, um, let's check uh, my NFT achievements. So as of today, I already have eight of them. And of course, guys, the Venom ecosystem has a uh, Zilly campaign today. So um, you could see all of this quest. All right. So if you want to participate, so it's just right here on the video description. So, of course, uh, if you have finished some task in the Venom testnet, so all you have to do is to take a screenshot of it as a proof. And then you just have to um, submit it one by one. All you have to do is to follow the instructions right here. Okay, so the next thing that we need to do is to go back to web 3 world. But this time, we are going to add some liquidity and farm some LP. Here it is, guys. So all I have to do is to go right here in their website. Now, uh, initially, um, I did swap some tokens right here. But of course, we are going to focus on adding liquidity. And then we just have to uh, use the farming pools. One thing that I really need to get started in providing liquidity is to swap venom to wrap venom so for example um let's say 10 venom so i am going to swap it to wrap venom so i'm going to wrap it and then of course um, i'm going to do this just click send so the transaction was sent from 10 venom to 10 wrap venom okay so i'm going to buy some usdt as well so for 10 Venom, I get 2.474501 USDT. So I click swap and then I just uh, confirm. And then of course, um, this is the fee authentication required. And then we just have to wait until the uh, transaction was sent and was confirmed in the Venom blockchain. Okay, so uh, my USDT balance is now updated. Okay now we have the wrap venom and some extra usdt so it's time to go to the next step in which we're going to do some liquidity providing and of course um, uh, you could see some of the pools that we could choose from but of course i would like to pay attention to usdt wrap venom pool okay and uh, you could see the stats right here like the trading volume so these are being updated in a real time and of course um, you could see all of the uh, transaction history in this pool alone all right so we need to connect our account first so all you have to do is to uh, send and then authentication required and then we just have to wait okay so it says um pool not connected so i connect to open the position so all you have to do is to, uh, to click send uh, it is now connected now we can add the liquidity position so um, you can see right here guys um this is what i'm talking about the usdt and the wrap venom okay so i'm going to connect the pool so once again i'm going to pay the fee so i just click send Authentication required, and then we have to wait. Okay, so the pool has been connected. You can now deposit your assets to the DEX account. Okay, so let's say I'm going to do the max. All right, and we have the option to add tokens in a balanced proportion if we wanted to. So let's say I want to continue this to create the pool. Okay, so I click continue. First, we have to deposit the DEF token. So I click deposit. So, yep, um, we just have to send. Currently, um, it's depositing the token. We have to wait it, you know, for confirmation. 
before we proceed to deposit the right token. Alright, so the token is now deposited. Now it's time to deposit the right token. So the same process. So we just click send and then um, do this. So waiting for 10 wrap venom to be deposited. Okay, now it's confirmed. And of course, last step is to supply the tokens. Okay, so the same process. And we have to wait until this one is uh, a success. Okay, so um, liquidity has been deposited. So it's like plus 4.9 LP. So this is what you have spent in both the USDT and the wrapped Venom. Okay, so it's time to go to the pool. So um, you could see uh, my proof right here on the liquidity. So um, you see the available balance, the LP token. So the reason why we're doing that is because there are some tasks right here on the Venom ecosystem in which we are going to add some liquidity. So for instance, right here, um, I already have the proof of adding some liquidity. Okay, I have sent a screenshot. And then, we just have to click claim reward. So, once they have reviewed it manually and confirm it, so they will be crediting it. The next thing that we need to do is to go to the farming pools. You could see some various farming pools here, guys. But of course... I want to pay attention to the USDT and the wrap Venom pairing. So, um, what we're going to focus, guys, is, you know, um, the USDT and the wrap Venom pairing in which I already have the liquidity. First, we deposit the LP tokens. And then, uh, we choose the amount of LP tokens we want to deposit. Let's say I want to do the max. And for the lock period, there's a minimum value of 2 and a max of 30. Let's say I want to max it to 30. So, my farming boost is at times 1.5. Now, it's time for us to click deposit. And then it goes like this. So, you send a message. And then just click send. So we verify the authentication and then we just have to wait. So it would really take a while, guys. Okay, so um, let's check it. So um, you could see me updated balance. And of course, the available reward, the doc reward, the current APR. Okay, now let's go back to Zeely. So um, after adding the liquidity pool and submitting my work. So um, you could see right here, guys. Deposit LP tokens to yield farming pools. Okay, so here's the screenshot, guys. So all you have to do is to click uh, claim reward. And then um, they just have to uh, manually review it, okay? So at least I've given you an idea on how we add some liquidity and using uh, their yield farming pools, okay? To uh, complete the uh, Venom ecosystem task right here on Zilli. So there you have it guys, at least I have shared to you the second part of the step-by-step -step tutorial in completing the task on the Venom wallet which is under the testnet mode. So if you want more information, I provided all the source things right here on the video description. So I would love to have some feedback from you guys, whether if it's positive or negative, or you have some concerns or some clarifications regarding the incentivized tested opportunity of the Venom wallet. I would try my best to answer it for you. And of course, just to remind you about the first part of the Venom Testnet tutorial. So it's just right here on the video description. So happy grinding. And if you think that this video is quite helpful and valuable to you, kindly do not hesitate or think twice in sharing this to your friends out there, especially those who are so enthusiastic regarding airdrops, testnets, DeFi, and so much more. So I do have a question for you. Did you enjoy watching this video? Has this video helped you a lot and gives value in any way? And what do you think about it? Just let me know right here in the comment section. So once again, this is Nomad Fury and I'll see you all on my next video.